Good evening, welcome to Snow Vision. Today we're out here on the Salt River. We're going down here to try to see if we can catch any bass today. Uh, I know out here they have smallmouth, white bass, and largemouth. So we're definitely gonna give our get a shot in and see what we can do. We might have to do a little bit of traveling through the woods today, but it'll definitely be worth it, so actually the woods. Really not much of anything. But we're out here. It's pretty secluded. The river's actually pretty high today. Trying to find a clearing is, might be an issue. Just give you a panoramic view of what we got going on here. This is a road that leads down, farther down this way. Right down over in this area, there's a boat ramp. First up on the agenda is going to be the spinnerbait from last week. We have that on there. So the only thing I'm really worried about uh, with this river is the current moves so fast that uh, sticks and debris is pretty much my main concern right now. No luck on the spinner right now. But I'm gonna try to jigger out. Love that little flip tail. <clears throat> We're gonna head on farther down that way. So I tried to fish this area one time before. Let's try it again. Something I've never tried out on this river is uh, either jerk bait or crank bait. I've mostly done uh, jigs, spinners, and creature baits, creature soft baits. So today, I think it's time to try. Uh, let's try a lipless crank right now. All right, so we're gonna try a lipless crank right now. I uh, can't remember who this one's from. I've picked up so many <coughs> these past couple months. Can't exactly remember, but uh, red, black, loud, rattle, tight, wobble. Let's try it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that hit the bottom right now. Time it's gonna be a little productive, clean up my mess a little bit, which is this is my tackle box, and then uh, I'm gonna pop it, pop it up, give it a slow retrieve, and then pop it up again, give it a little slow retrieve, wait a few seconds between two to four seconds, and then uh, keep popping it up and just tighten up the line a little bit. Let me reiterate how sick this, this rod and reel is. I'm gonna it in the trees like 50 yards away. That's bad. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. All right, so this area is a no-go, which I pretty much figured been coming here for the last five months when I first found this hole it was literally every day I was coming here 
So, and haven't caught nothing on this end of Salt River. But now the Ohio River, uh, smallies, I've caught. Um, here? No, not so much. So, kind of want to just, I want to catch something from this side. You know, the Salt River is a, a break off of um, the Ohio River over here in um, West Point, Kentucky. So, all right, so. Here's another little boat ramp entrance. I like to give it a shot. So, which crankbait did I choose in anticipation? This guy. Silver, purple, and black lining across the top. Beautiful. I love his eyes. Sparkly. All right, let's try them out. All right, so we're gonna switch them up. We're gonna go back to this for just a moment, and then we're gonna walk on down probably about two more minutes. See if we can find anything down farther down south. All right, so today for some reason time is flying by super fast. I'm gonna have to make this quick. So we got to find us a clearing down here. Let's see, we got trees and wooded forests. So I think, if anything, if I didn't have these crankbaits on there, I'd flip a few jigs down in there. I don't want to get into a clearing. Toss these crankbaits a little bit. There's also a little creek, if I'm not mistaken, back in this area, which floods the area by the entrance. <clears throat> so, and my calculations were correct. So walking up this way, there is the clearing that I was thinking about. But there's also, oh no, the bridge is flooded over. It's no good guys, this is no good. Well, might just tie on a jig to see what we can do. We'll flip it around a few times. Maybe. Well, I guess that idea. <clears throat> Well, if I had my waders. There's not much clearing anywhere. Not much I can do. Because I know this water over here. Maybe three feet deep. Which still hold bass. Like, don't get me wrong. But. So heavily wooded. And I know. Nothing but trees and sticks and stems and all that good stuff is in there. So we're gonna walk down to the other end and see. And I'll get back with you guys. All right, so finishing up on Salt River. We didn't catch anything today, but you know, it's good just to get out here for a few moments and just uh, see what it was like. Uh, river's pretty high. Uh, you guys seen that? Uh, worked on uh, some jig spinners and crankbaits. Use that new crankbait, the silver, purple, and black one from, from a guy named Corey Null. He makes his own custom crankbaits, which is, they're pretty, pretty cool. I uh, can't wait till farther along in the springtime and, you know, definitely try the chartreuse one um, I got from him. Other than that, I just want to thank everybody for joining me on this short little trip. And uh, nothing to brag or complain about today. Nothing really informative, I don't think. Um, it's pretty much just me out here just doing my thing. So, all right. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for uh, joining me today. Uh, click like, subscribe. Uh, definitely more to come. 
uh, this is definitely not the end of our, our journey. So, all right, we'll see y'all next week. Thank y'all for joining me. Bye.